Annyeong everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you just met, my name is Ju. Please do subscribe if you like cars like me and like this video. 감사합니다. In this video, I'm going to show you why buying the 2022 Mitsubishi Montero Sport Black Series 4x2 will make you happy just like you buying an MUX, Fortuner, Everest, Terra and others. This is the diamond pearl white that you will pay 15,000 pesos more. So this one costs 1,996,000 pesos SRP. But please do contact the nearest Mitsubishi dealers so that you can have the best promo and deals. As you know, the SUV competition is crazy here in the Philippines. How is it in your place? Although this might look like a new variant, it is not a new variant. It is actually an updated GT variant 4x2. Honestly, this could be the last update for the third generation Montero Sport. So when will the fourth generation come? The sources say it will come in 2023. But should we wait or should we get this? What we do know is that there is an ongoing partnership with Nissan and Mitsubishi that they will work together and probably share the same platform. What are the black upgrades that this model received? Let's find out. Let's go to the front. The blacked out grille, the headlight extension turned black also, and this lower black garnishing. Let's go to the side. We have the blacked out roof rail, the blacked out spoiler, and the blacked out 18 inch rims. Let's go to the back. As mentioned earlier, the spoiler, the shark's fin antenna, and this lower bumper garnish. It became a two-tone and also a three-tone affair because not all chrome pieces are blacked out and they are still in chrome. What do you think? This is not part of the black series, but we do have black metal skid plate, which is perfect for off-roading. There are technologies found in the exterior and one of them is 360 camera. Next is keyless entry system. You have buttons on both sides. That's very important. You also get the kick feature. As long as you have the key with you, it will do that. And you can kick it also on the other side or on the same side, it will close as well. Very cool. Although the Mitsubishi Montero Sport doesn't have an auto parking feature, it does come with sensors all around the vehicle, also here in front. As you well know, Montero Sport is a popular vehicle for both on-road and off-road. The radar, the camera, of course the black accents, and this nice looking lighting system, daytime running light, the LED lighting system, LED DRL, LED fog lamps, but it also comes with turn lights. It illuminates when you make turns, although there is no automatic lighting for this one. Old school. Although the Montero Sport is a very sexy vehicle, it can still sit seven people comfortably. Let's check what's under the hood of the Montero Sport. What powers the Mitsubishi Montero is a 2.4 liter MyVec technology with VGT, mated to eight-speed automatic transmission. I don't know if you have driven one before, but the car feels fast. The car is agile. It does 179 horsepower and 430 newton meters of torque. In short, MyVec technology allows this Montero Sport use the aluminum cylinder block and also using a chain for its timing, it can have good fuel efficiency, especially now, and good performance. For the suspension, it is going to be a combination of double wishbone, three link, 18 inch rims, and 265 series of tires. What we like about the trunk space more than the Fortuner is that the third row folds flat like this. It's a two step. First pull this small one, and then the butt area goes up like that. And then it's a flat surface. You do have compartments here and there is a spare tire under. You just have to use this one. So it has plenty of space and a flat cargo, which we need right now. And here on the third row, there are amenities like air vents, top holders, 12 volt jack here, and a huge window. But my favorite is the air vent. Really well designed. I hope they don't change that. How will it look like when we fold everything? If you have reached this point of the video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. I really like the materials that are used in the cabin, especially 
these are the points where you would always touch and they are very well leather wrapped and also padded so you really feel that you are in a premium cabin also the steering wheel it has this very girthy feeling of course the aluminum paddle shifters and you do have all the buttons that you need when you drive just near your hands so you can just do everything like the adaptive cruise control the 360 camera furthermore all windows are fully up and down and that's a nice uh, feature that i like about this car next is the digital instrument cluster it is well made well designed i love the color combination the red blue and white and black and you would always see your montero sport at the center even when you break it you will see it lighting up now that's very cool and the provision of the engine heat or temperature is a necessity actually but uh, many motor makers are removing that feature i also like the positioning of the emergency button or the hazard and the trunk usually they are hidden somewhere but for the montero sport it is huge and it is quite easy to press because the button it's just right there the air condition is fantastic even though i put it to 28 in first blower blowing to the top and to the bottom i still felt cold there is the nano e technology which will sanitize the cabin air so that's another thing that we need in this trying times talking about the gear shifter it is a flat top kind of design which is perfect like you put it to drive then you rest your elbow on the center console it is like perfect it feels almost as comfortable as the handrest found in mercedes-benz and the versatility of having the paddle shifter and also the shiftronic or steptronic you can just play around with the car all day in this eight speed automatic transmission there are plenty of charge ports. You even have an HDMI port. I think it, you can even display something here on the head unit that's quite old school, but it still has one. You do have more compartment down here. Maybe in the future will become the wireless charge pad. Ceiling mounted air vents, which are just perfect. Really, it's just perfect, especially those people who don't want aircon just to come straight up towards your face the comfort level of the seats is another all the seats are well leather wrapped when you sit in this seat you will feel like you are in a lexus you will feel like you're in a premium leather cabin although i would appreciate if we had like a extending type of sun visor or we do have auto dimming room mirror i'm a fool for the 360 camera so montero has that but I'm also a fool for ventilated seats. So maybe in the future or the fourth generation, we will see the vented seats. And mind you that the front seats are both powered. And I also like having this huge sunglass case. You can put other things like your ETC as well if you're not gonna put your shades. And for safety, there are plenty of airbags supplied. For content creators like me, you always need power source and you can actually have a power source on mobility so this is a fantastic car for content creators like me let's test the sound system never break always fight never quit do it right play the game win your life i really like the sound system it is well controlled it is not the exaggerated treble and bass but it does sound good you don't like get vibration all over the car and your body but still you can get good sounds in this montero black series there is no mute button but if you need to like shut down right away just press the power button and then it is as good as having the mute button what i also like about the second row is you can recline it this much that's a lot of reclining it's really really comfortable by the way and it is not only here, you can also recline the one on the third row. And take a look at this. It's quite easy to pull this down. Just one button there and it tumbles like that. And it is quite easy to enter the third row. See this? 
you guys can see me let's put this to a normal height I can fit in here really well like that much space nice air vents here 12 volt cup holders and the third row can also be adjusted and reclined so normally it's like this but you can recline it that much raise the headrest and you are all good the third row folds flat the second row also folds flat you can have so much cargo space because it's like it's not the type when you see in the fortuner so this is a really great car really great seven seater family car sporty car you name it this has it let's drive it now i brought the montero sport to silang and it was such a nice drive we were three in the car my friends were also happy with the ride what makes the montero sport a very practical car to drive here in the city number one it is sharp and narrow number two it has speed sensing door locks number three it has good aircon the air conditioned vents also on the second row and the third row are really well situated number four it comes with wall charger which just charges my devices super fast depending on your adapter you can charge your devices a lot quicker the head unit is not really the most updated and good quality interface but it is intuitive it is responsive it has good android auto apple carplay bluetooth connectivity is really quick it just connects really well every time you just get enter the car it just connects right away wirelessly so that's something very practical the sound is also very good although the third generation mitsubishi montero is somewhat an old model it still has what it takes to compete with others such as the everest the mux the terra and the fortuner just imagine this black series which is an updated gt has everything when i say everything it has everything including the 360 camera adaptive cruise control and also this performance to go really quickly and overpass quite easy to drive this car the steering feel very planted the way i like it like if you bring it to off-road you will like it even more it is not as heavy as the terra but it does have some weight to it so you do feel very planted and the steering wheel the design like here it's very nice to hold here when you drive and did i tell you the aluminum paddle shifters they are really really nice they feel good you will feel happy shifting and also like when you hear that sound just like the raptor airbags everywhere in city driving we need brake hold system the 360 that doesn't turn off even though you go fast it's a very cool 360 maybe it's an old school way it doesn't turn off although it shuts down the front because you have the front anyway but it still shows the side uh, in a very nice um, frame rate although there are things that are not here such as the auto dimming room mirror the automatic lighting system automatic windshield wiper remember this is not the top of the line the top of the line will have more features montero sport is like looks so good on the exterior it also looks nice in the interior especially all this padded leather in soft materials we will hot out later on the freeway but uh yeah the brakes are also really good front collision mitigation system it is also very intelligent now i hear some people complaining about the brake hold system issue but so far in my long land out i'm not experiencing any of that it just works perfectly let's warm up those tires with the paddle shifters the red line is at 4000 rpm okay better to be safe we can downshift fourth gear fifth gear sixth gear what i notice in driving the montero sport is that you have better comfort when you go fast it's 
like when you are going slow, you will feel all the bumps on the road. When you are gonna use the onboard navigation, you can see it on the instrument cluster where you're supposed to go. So that's cool. And the provisions of the time. Usually you have it here, but you don't have it here. Just like when you are using the 360 camera right now, like real time, it doesn't want to turn off. It still shows here, which helps me not to figure out, guess the time or look at my watch. Although the fourth generation is coming, you don't have to really wait for that to come out because we really don't know probably 2023 in other countries then later on it's us so yeah if you are a monty lover windows are fully automatic all four i hope you guys are enjoying this review if you have reached this point you can also check out the super thanks feature so you can super thank me if you think i helped you adaptive cruise control works so well but uh, if you want to like do a slow speed follow, you have to like engage it when it's still quick, like above 60. You can set the distance and the speed. There you go. It doesn't have a lane keep assist though, but the top variant will have the 4x4 variant GT. See, I'm not doing anything with my foot. It's following this uh, truck really well. Now we're gonna go the turn. So even in the turn, it breaks by itself and it's very quirky because it um, breaks also here on the instrument cluster. And that is what I think about the 2022 Mitsubishi Montero Sport Black Series 4x2 variant. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. May your dreams come true. Kamsamida.